First and foremost, thank you for tuning back into the channel, Mr. Just Right One. Damn sure checking back in with you guys today with not only another review, but also a huge reward update. You're going to want to stay tuned for this one, I promise. The review today comes from Asmodus, and it is going to be on the Anani RTA. Look at that beautiful specimen right there, sitting on top of the pure BF. But you can also, you know, rotate your tube, make it a regular mech. That's what I decided to do. This is a mouth to lung RTA with a really, really flavorful vape and a very unique design. It's like a top fill system. It's pretty cool to see how they implemented on this. But without further ado, let's dive down, take a look at the packaging. Let's go over the contents contained within. And here we have a look at the packaging of the Anani RTA mouth to lung from Asmodus. You can pause right here if you'd like. Take a look at the contents contained within. As always, you have your security code check and your color indication, Anani brushed stainless steel. Ah, the bag of goodies. I spy with my little eye a green O-ring. And old Blue, you my boy Blue. Let's see if I can get this out of here real quick. Come on. Get out of there. Aha, the star of the show. Gotta say, I'm digging that Ultim. And for the record, yes, I did go ahead and change the O-rings simply to help with the review of this product. It did have green O-rings, and I'll show you in a sec. There they are. There's the clear ones. Took like two seconds to do, guys. If you get one, do that first thing. You'll love me. Thank me. Later. Get this top cap off. Damn, it's a little snug. Green O-rings again. What do you know? Let's see if we can get this bottom base off. I wonder if I took my build out. I know I took the cotton out, but I better left the damn coal in it a bit. Inside, if I did. That knurling really helps on the side. That texture on that, it really helps. Not knurling, but... Yep, I did leave my build in it. Oh, well. Just grab a screwdriver real quick and we'll get that pulled. Perfect time to show you the build deck as well. All right, now that I got that build taken out of there, finally. <laughs> there you see the little air diffuser and the wicking ports down at the bottom. The diffuser right here. I'm gonna attempt to take this out. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but hey, I will take it out to show you that it is removable if you choose. The airflow on the side right here, I think it's 2.5 millimeter airflow. Comes through and there's diffused right there. I do feel that the openings in this diffuser could have been a little bit bigger and same maybe like dual airflow maybe airflow on the other side that you could have closed off as well but that's the removal and this is the install i do i don't vape it with it removed i don't know i'm kind of a stiff about that like if it's there it's, it's there for a reason <laughs> so i'm gonna vape it with it and assess it accordingly all right, let me get my screwdriver again and go ahead and put a, my build back in it. I know that sounds like a pain in the butt, but hey, I'm blessed. I'm afforded an opportunity to do so, so I'm very thankful I get to do so. Lay my coil over. It's just the same style build deck we've been seeing for a long time. Especially single coil, mouth to lung, high end stuff. They all use the same style build deck, you know, just an open clamp on either end. Just center your coil in there directly over that diffuser. You can raise or lower it to your preference. If you want a little warmer vape, I would go ahead and raise it up so that, you know, get a little bit more warmth on it. I left it just about even with the deck, maybe a little bit taller than the clamps themselves. And I'm trimming my cotton to either side of that first ring right there. And you'll see that here. I'm going to just take my scissors and nothing fancy. I'm just going to cut it once. Right there. And right there. And you see how it's kind of lopsided on one side? I've done that because I'm going to fluff it out and fluff it out. And I'm going to pull it through and kind of center it a little bit. I kind of want like a little bubble of cotton. And pull it through again right there. And that kind of centers it on either side. Thin it out again. Gotten pretty good at my wicking game, man. Must say, I'm pretty proud of myself. 
just grab it and tuck it. That way, the ends of that cotton has a chance for the caterpillar reactions to work as it's intended to do. A lot of people tend to forget that. They just want to take that cotton and just fold it in there or tuck it in there real tight. And you don't want it to do that. You want the ends of that cotton to be resting on that juice inlet so the caterpillar reaction can do their job. The, that, that cotton serves a purpose and it works in a certain manner. Um, I'm very particular about that. <laughs> the e-liquid I'm rocking is going to be that Sabor del Canto Maltelon Conquito from fogging out with the batman and emb much love to them over there i really really enjoy this e-liquid especially in the mouth to lung lineup there's a few of them in the mouth to lung that just really really shine more so than they did in the uh lower nicotine levels so shout out to them on that here we go speed up get this open Ugh, bastard all right got it open finally and here this is how you fill it Again, it's got three juice ports. One you can squeeze your liquid in, and the other two for airflow to allow air to keep it from building up air bubbles in there. One, two, three. Screw that back down. Be very, very careful when doing so. You do not want to cross thread that. I think if there's going to be a major point where you could cross thread, it would be there. That would be the most likely time you would do so. Let's put this back on a device, take it up top, let's vape on it, let's talk about it. We're back up top with the Anani RTA from Asmodus. Real quick, we're gonna go over the cons. The cons are as follows. The green O-rings on the drip tip. Seeing as this is an all Ultim top cap and transparent in nature, I really, really wish that those O-rings would have been clear from the factory. It wasn't much on my behalf to go find up, dig up an old 510 drip tip, take the clear O-rings off and swap them out. It took like two seconds to do. I'm glad I did it. Really changed the aesthetics of this device. Uh, second would be the fact that it is just one cap included. It is an Ultim top cap. I really wish I would have included a stainless top cap in here possibly so that you wouldn't have the consumer that maybe accidentally gets it cross-threaded because if you do so it is now rendered a useless device to you you will not be able to do anything with it because your threads have been cross-threaded and all that you don't want to run into that problem so had they included a stainless top cap as well i think that would have been a huge pro but at this moment with it being just ultim it is a con uh, secondly, that little diffuser inside the center, man, it's really tough to get out. I'm not sure if they intended for it to come out. I know you can take it out, but it is really, really tough to get that diffuser out. They need to make that a little more accessible. The airflow, uh, make the airflow on the outside, maybe included another airflow on the other side that you could have closed off if you wanted. I think that would really help this RTA out a whole lot. But that's it on the cons, guys. Let's go over and let's talk about some pros. Pros, what you've come to expect from Asmodus is aesthetics. It looks good, minus the green O-rings. Other than that, it is a flawless looking device. It looks good on a lot of things. That's what we've come to expect from Asmodus. They rank in like the top two or three companies for me that understand that not only should a device perform well, it should look good while doing so. Shout out to Asmodus on that. You guys keep it up, man. I'd love to see what 2020 brings for you guys. Flavor, flavor on this is on point. Vaping that, uh, Sabores de la Canto, Conquito, Coconut Rum, Eggnog from EMB, Fogging Out the Batman. This is in 12 Nick. Love that. I love the e-liquid. I love the profile. I'm getting all the notes I would come to expect from that in the Sanani. But I do have to touch one more con, and that's going to be the coils. The coils being labeled for salt neck use. There's no such thing. Let the consumer decide what those coils are used for. Uh, back to the pros because there's a lot of pros with this one. Again, we talked about the aesthetics. The flavor is on point. The vapor production is what you would expect from a mouth to lung device. It's not going to be a huge, massive vape cloud production machine. It's going to be a really, really flavor focused vape. May not be a lot of production coming off of it, but the production that does come off of it will be flavorful. And that's something that ranks really high in my book. So definitely, definitely a pro on that. As modus, you guys keep doing what you're doing. 2020 is going to be great. Like I said, I look forward to seeing what comes from you guys in 2020. Salute, respect. Uh, thank you for sending me this device. Look forward for more As modus reviews coming from me really, really soon. Wink, wink. <laughs> and at this time, I did promise you guys a huge reward announcement. So right now, what we're going to do is we're going to be announcing the 
reward recipients for the Rattel XS. If you're seeing your comments right here across the bottom of this screen, it is your responsibility to reach out and contact me within 48 hours to be given your instructions as to what you must do to be ordered to claim your reward. Without further ado, I'm going to do what I always do at this time, and that is going to be to remind you that if at any given point in time you have ever felt like you are not a somebody, I want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes, and that somebody is me. I absolutely love each and every one of you. Stay focused. Stay blessed. Mr. Just Right One is checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I'm out.